Hi folks, Chris here from the Javelin Tech Team. In this session, I'm going to take a look at the new Selection Sets functionality within SolidWorks. In order to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is select all the faces I need on my 30-sided die with the Power Select tool. Next, I'll hold down my Control key and right-click and make use of the Save Selection feature. The Save Selection functionality can be accessed with a new option located in our context-sensitive right-click menu. From here, we'll take a look at the top of our Feature Manager design tree to see where those selection sets are stored. We have a new subfolder at the top of the Feature Manager design tree that contains the selection sets that we've just created. I'll use the F2 key to rename my existing selection set to something more appropriate. I am now free to browse down through the selection set. If I'd like to remove any individual face from the selection set, I can right-click on that face stored underneath the selection set and choose Remove from Selection. Now that I have my selection set captured, I'm going to move on to changing the appearance for those specific faces. We'll navigate down through a number of possible choices within the Appearance pane and finally settle on the desired choice for the color of our 30 faces. I hope these last few minutes have given you a look into some great new functionality within the new release of SolidWorks. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you soon, right back here on the Javelin blog.